Hello, my name is Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series Mastering the Basics of My Sonet Embroidery Software. If you're interested in learning more about embroidery software, are a subscriber or own your own copy of My Sonet, why not subscribe to our free YouTube channel and that way you won't miss out on any of our episodes. In this film I'm going to talk about scaling and resizing embroidery designs. I'm on a PC and using the platinum level of the software but what I show you in this film you'll be able to do on a Mac or in any of the paid levels of the software. I'm using the Bells embroidery design which is included in the free samples on the download page of mysonet.com. I'm going to click on the design to select it and straight away you can see that I've got white nodes or handles sometimes they're called around my design. What I want to do is just draw your attention over here on the design panel to the stitch count. The stitch count at the moment is around two and a half thousand stitches. Now what I could do if I wanted to change the size of the embroidery is I could click and drag on one of the corners to make it smaller and look what's happened to the stitch count it stayed the same or indeed if I opened it up and made it much bigger again the stitch count is the same I would say that I've changed the scale of the design I've changed the size of it but not the stitch count and you can see that some of the areas the fill patterns beginning to open up it's not really looking necessarily very good and particularly on the design where I scaled it down that would give me all sorts of problems at stitch out because my embroidery would be incredibly dense very often I might be stitching over almost the same point and I'd get thread breaks and perhaps also needle breakages I'd strongly recommend that you don't scale down designs too much because of that problem. I'm just going to hit undo a couple of times just to bring that back to the original embroidery design. So what I want to do is introduce you to the resize button. Now if I click that straight away can you see the handles on my design have turned to blue and again notice what's going on with the stitch count. So if I make this smaller my stitch count has gone down so I probably wouldn't have the same levels of problems with stitching that out and again if I make this large you can see that I don't have the same problem although actually looking at this I can see that for instance in the bow I've got some problems here where I would have problems with gaps it's not ideal. Now many of my colleagues who work on the MySoNet team would say don't ever more than 15-20% because you might get a loss of quality. So again let me show you how you can be very precise with the sizing of a resize just like before I'm going to hit undone and go back to the original design I know it's the original one because here's my stitch count now there's a couple of ways that you can do this if you know that you're just going to be changing it a little bit but you want to keep your aspect ratio the same you want to keep the proportions one top tip is I'm going to hold down the shift button and then I'm going to click and drag and that will keep my aspect ratio those proportions will be the same and again you can see that my stitch count has changed in proportion to uh, uh, the, the resizing that I'm doing just like before I'm going to hit the undo button go back to the original but if you want to be very precise you might find it useful to use the modify design button so I'm going to click on that and this allows you to be very precise with either the sizing or the proportion that you're actually changing your design 
So what you can do is you can use the buttons to click up and down. There's a button here that you can check or uncheck if you want to keep the proportions the same. In this case, I do. I don't want one side to change and the other not to. And I'm just going to click this up to 115%. I'm going to increase the size of my design by 15%. But I had the blue handles. I checked the resize button, so I know that that will tr the software will try and keep my image looking as good as possible. If I wanted to, I could change, uh, be precise as well about the rotation angle. I'm not going to worry about that. And then I'm going to click OK, and you can see that my stitch count has changed basically it's increased my design size by 15 percent and now I can consider um, building a design with it so my golden rules about changing the scale of an embroidery is if possible make sure you've got blue handles on your embroidery by checking the resize button and golden rule number two is be very very careful resizing an embroidery down and not changing the stitch count because you're likely to get into a mess. I hope you found this a useful video. Don't forget to like us and remember if you subscribe to our channel we're going to be able to help you master the basics of the MySonet embroidery software. Happy sewing!